What's up guys? I have got to solve this in less than five minutes, otherwise I am a bit humiliated. So let's check it out. Okay, so why have I got to solve this in less than five minutes? Well, this is a T-shaped puzzle. You will find them all over the internet if you look for them, or any like market or game shop or toy shop or anything like that. Uh, this is a famous puzzle. It was made famous in China. It used to be a cross, now it's a T. Uh, but it was a appeared in a teacher magazine, and the teacher magazine said that if you could solve this in less than five minutes, you're a genius, and if you cannot, then it takes you up to half an hour, and you are not a genius. Most people take up to half an hour to solve this, but I'm not most people. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna film it with you, see how I get on. And if I take ages, I just won't publish it. So you already know I've not taken too long. Okay, before we start, I'm gonna put a link in the description below for you to find a printable version of this so that you can just print it out, cut it out, test yourself, test your mates, and see what your score is before I reveal it. So bad advertising here, but cut this out first, have a go first, before I show you how it's done. So hopefully I'm gonna solve this for you in less than five minutes, but we'll see. So do that first, put your answers in the comment section below. Now I am gonna time it. I'll keep my phone on next to it. I've got my juice, I've got the game, I've got a camera, I've got another camera, let's go. So five minutes starting, Okay, well, first thing to notice is it doesn't have any tips on the box. Nothing like that. It's just got the pictures of the four pieces and a picture of the finished piece on the front. Nothing else. And then a rather satisfying rattling sound. Now, let's open it. I've already wasted 30 seconds. Right, so I already knew this, but they come both sided, so you don't actually know which side to put them on, which is a little bit confusing, but should be okay. Right, let's have a little go. Okay, so if we just look at all the pieces we've got, we've got this tiny little triangle. I've got this sort of stretched out triangle here, the big one. Then I've got this. This is what I think is gonna be a very important piece, because obviously this can't be put in too many places. And then we've got this weird, jaggedy shape. Now this is the one I'm a bit worried about, because I've got a feeling this is gonna be important and why this is quite hard. So let's have a go. Let's try and see what we can do. So it makes sense that we're trying to make a T shape. So we're gonna be going in straight lines, I think. Now, what we need to do is work out, I'm gonna work, try and work out where this base piece is. Okay, so let's have a little go. It has to obviously have three right angles. So if I put that there, that means I could put that on top of it. So I'm not gonna have anywhere else to go. No, it could be that at the bottom with this. Okay. Oh God, I'm already at two and a half, nearly two and a half minutes. Ah. Oh, this is horrible, I'm feeling embarrassed already. No, okay, I don't think that's got anything to do with the middle bit. Let's try that at the top. I really don't know what this shape is gonna do because, like I say, it's got this horrible piece there. Now, I've seen some people draw out the completed T and try and put it in like that. I thought that was quite a smart idea. Let's try this as the base. There's just not enough pieces. There you go, it's finished. Nice little italic T. That's all right, yeah? <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Can't go like that. I can't go in any other way. Right, okay, what about this? Assuming this is our bottom piece, which I believe it is, that's gonna be too, sticking out too much and too low. Do you know what, I wish I'd actually cheated and just got the answers first and just pretended that I was doing this for the first time. Uh, I mean, what 
what is going on. Right, I think this one actually sits diagonally on here. I think that's the trick. I think they expect you to try and go in straight lines, but I think there is a diagonal here. Right, what about like that? Aha. Uh -huh. Right, hang on. Okay. And then, no. 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 But I do quite like that. What about, what about that? No, it's the same thing. What about like that? God, honestly, this is horrendous. I don't understand this at all. Ah, 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 ah. Right, okay. This like this, and then this sliding on there like that. That's already starting to meet my T. I've got 15 seconds, but I think I've got it in my head. I'm gonna stick that there, and that there. No, that's too far around. Ah, five seconds, five seconds. Boom, and boom, <gasps> bang on five minutes, I literally cannot believe it, bang on five minutes, five minutes three. Oh my gosh, right, let's have a look what that was like. So I've just put this bottom bit there, like that. This piece here, this is the tricky little piece, it makes you question where it's gonna go. It actually goes diagonally. I thought something weird would happen with this middle part. So that goes diagonally across there like that. And then these little pieces, I got them the wrong, wrong way around to start with. I thought it'd be like that. But that means there's too much on this side and not enough on this side. So you switch them around. Put that like that. That like that. Jobs are good and a beautiful tea. Cheers. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to this video. Share it with all your mates. See what scores you get, please. Bang them in the comment section. Let's go mad. All right. Peace.